Hello, this is getting usable. Uh, so this is a four-layer house, and you don't have to make your house in four layers. I'm just kind of showing off all of the capabilities. So the first layer is just the base tile layer with the walking masks to tell you where you can and can't walk. The second layer is a direct overlay for carpets and uh, uh, doors and hanging clotheslines and that sort of stuff. The third layer is the furniture offset layer, which is the same kind of layer, but it's a few pixels up, and that makes it so that the beds and furniture seem flush with the upper walls without having to cut them in half and do awkward things like that. And the fourth layer is the wall layer, which is actually an 8 pixel layer instead of a 16 pixel layer, and that can give you some of these nice, delicate looking walls, rather than the really, really huge, chunky walls that you'd normally have to use. Uh, that's nice, you might be thinking, but really, I, I just want to use arbitrary sprites. I mean, obviously I want a tile map edit as well, or else I wouldn't be bothering to talk to you, but um, I want to be able to just drop in whatever sort of sprites I want also. Okay, well make sure you're editing the layer that you want to drop the sprites onto, and then go and find the sprite. How about a flag? Plonk. There, we now have a flag. And this is a sprite object, just like any other uh, tile is, but it's not part of the ordinary tile flow, so it can't be edited by... Uh, it doesn't have any effect on walkability or anything like that, and if you try and erase it, you'll just erase whatever's beneath it. Uh, so if you want to get rid of it, you have to delete it manually, but that's not a big deal. Now one thing to note is that I'm in 2D mode. If I exit out of 2D mode, well, I can get a lot of extra controls over the flag and, and move it so that it's in front of the player, for example. Um, but while you're in 3D mode, you usually can't drag and drop these. It, it, they don't take. So uh, be sure to be in 2D mode if you're trying to drop sprites in, but other than that, it works great. Uh, and of course, if I hit play, I can walk over to the flag and nuzzle it or whatever, but it doesn't have any effect on the game, so you're going to have to make it have an effect using a trigger or something similar. Anyhow, this code is available. You can download the project. Uh, it's not um, a proper library yet, and uh, I'm still not anywhere near through developing the sprites I plan to use, the textures. The textures. Also, the uh, control is really bad. I need to change the um, the way that this hero controls. It's just awful. But uh, I'll leave that for now. You guys can deal with that if you'd like. Build yourself a better hero controller.